Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 193. What I have today is some build charges data. I know some uh, random CPT codes. I know how many times I build them in the past month, let's say. And based on some contracts or some historical information, I've got an estimated reimbursement for how much I get each time I bill, say, this 60719 code. I get $969. And so what I want to do is estimate or forecast my collections based on, hey, I build this code 70 times, I get about this, I know I'm going to get $67,000. Tell me over time, over all these codes, how much I should expect to collect. And what you can do is you can take, well, like I have here, B4 times C4, and make a new column, column D, and put that formula in there, and then come down to the bottom and total all of these um, multiplications, this times this goes here, and we're just going to total all those B times C columns and get 727,000. If you need to see the detail here and here and here and you want to see that, hey, I'm only going to get 4,000 from this code, this works just fine. If all you're really trying to do is say, hey, just tell me how much I expect. I don't need to see it by CPT code. Just give me a number. You can get this same 727,087 number right here by using the sum product function. Sum product's really straightforward. All you do is give it an array or a range and say, I'm going to take B4 to B20, and I'm going to multiply it by C4 to C20. And what some product does, it takes B4 times C4, B5 times C5, all the way to B20 times C20, takes all those up uh, and sums them up and gives you the 727 number without having to put column D in the mix. The other thing some product will do is it's not limited to two columns. You can do B times C times E. Let's say I've, I know I'm going to I build this code 70 times. I know I'm going to get 969.20. But historically, based on the, the patient mix or the payer mix or the whatever is going on, I only collect about 97.5% of this code, 95% of that code. I can take this times this times this. And I, again, I can add column F and do this formula that takes the, this times this, which is here, and multiply it by this and put it in F and keep adding columns. Or I can simply use some product. The total here is 698196. There's the same thing. And again, some product just says I'll do B time B4 times B20, C4, C20. And so it's just B4 times C4 times E4. And then B5 times C5 times E5, all the way to B20 times C20 times E20. Add up all those totals and put the number there. So if you're doing weighted averages, if you're doing other things where you need to multiply columns and you don't need to see the detail, you can save this column and this column by simply using some product. That's what I wanted to show you today. Stay tuned. I've got another Excel function for you next time. Thanks for watching.